And over at MSNBC, apparently uh, they're comparing Texas, uh, the Texas brand to like Jim Crow era, and they're worried that it's going to spread. I'm not making this up. We have the video roll tape. We've all become familiar with the Texas brand these days, making it tougher to vote, making it tougher to get an abortion. No mask, no problem. No vaccine, no problem. If you want to carry a gun, that's perfectly okay with us. Is there any indication this is going to be Texas's leading export to other red states? Yeah, uh, Brian Williams, he's, he's very worried. In fact, he was, he was probably there, right, in Texas. He hangs out there a lot. I'm no, just kidding. Uh, but it's just interesting that they're so triggered by Texas politics. Like, why do they care so much? <laughs> well, first of all, you know, they go and they speak about it, that it's bad. It's going to be tougher to commit voter fraud. It's going to be tougher to get an abortion. Uh, no mask, no problem. No vaccine, no problem. There won't be these mandates. Okay, what's the, what? What you worried about there, Brian? What, what's the problem with all that? And, oh, you know, we have this thing called the Constitution where if it's not a federally enumerated power, it falls to the states. It's supposed to be the state's decision. So, of course, they're very worried about this. They don't want to get people get these ideas that uh, states and, and people can control themselves locally. That's, that's awful. That won't fit the agenda. And uh, Brian Williams is very concerned about that. Yeah, no, it's really incredible the spin here. It's like, oh, Texas is, uh, wants to protect babies in the womb. Okay, that seems okay. Uh, they want to make it harder to cheat at the ballot box and actually easier to vote. Why is that a problem? Uh, you know, all these people are, are uh, totally against IDs, but then, of course, they're for IDs with the vaccine passport, which would also seem yeah. racist, right, according to their logic. I mean, these people just don't make any sense. Again, it's Brian Williams, and uh, he's not very credible anyways.